Let's take a look at the top uh, scorers, and there's no surprise with the first name on uh, the list, uh, Steven Ode of MFM, uh, uh, with 14 goals. But Toby, quickly run us through uh, the top max men yeah. uh, in, in the league. Yeah, after about the 20, Steven Ode failed to uh, increase his goal tally, uh, missed a penalty kick against Aqua United, maybe 15 for him, yes, 14 goals uh, for Steven Ode. Samuel Matea also failed to score this weekend, 10 goals, Aliazar Ibrahim uh, failed to score also 10 goals, Sonny Falaye on um, Asundi Adituji on 9 goals. Uh, Ufawundo on 8 goals, uh, Victor Boomer, captain of Remo on 7 goals, Adamo Azan on 7th seven, on seven goals, and then Gordon Abajet is the only player among the, the top guys that scored, scored this, this weekend. weekend, so on 7 goals. This is uh, good to see, you know, Gordon get among the, the big boys, you know, the goal scoring uh, team also. He, he emerged as top scorer last season with 18 goals, mm -hmm. he's got 7 now, still about uh, 18 more games for him to go, so let's see how much, you know, Gordon could replicate what he did last season. All right, so um, uh, that's it for the Nigeria Professional Football League. But guys, before we go, let's uh, take a look. Uh, we'll, we'll step down and take a look at the Nigeria National League. And um, we look at the Southern and Northern Conference. For the um, Southern Conference was Big 15. So let's take a look at the results. Um, and that's it uh, on your screen. First bank, go let's draw with Warri Wolves. Newe United, 1-0 victory over Delta Force. Gateway United, slim one victory over Crown SC. Uh, go round, uh, defeated Bendel Insurance, 1-0. Um, I thought uh, uh, the tables were turning for Bendel uh, Insurance. Heartland uh, defeated um, early leaders by Elsa United, 3-1. Uh, Ecorodi United lost at home to AS Real Saints. My people um, defeated Aqua Salet, 2-1. And Oshun United uh, had a slim one nil victory over Hadia Comet. Papilo FC. 2-0 victory over UNICEF. Guys, let's pause. Uh, okay, uh, let's look at Northern Conference. Um, Yobe Desert Stars, 3-1 victory over Mighty Jets. Shokoto United, 1-0 um, victory over Quara United. Adamawa United uh, played goalless with Kogi. FC Abuja, 2-1 victory over Chigawa Golden Stars. And FC Sanfara, 1-0 victory over um, FRS. See, all right. Uh, those are the results. Uh, but Oye uh, any surprises from uh, the Southern Conference? I know the North, uh, Afe Babalola's yep. uh, expulsion, uh, so, some issues, uh, st you know. But Southern Conference, everything seems to be going on well. Yeah, yeah th there was a surprise in Abel Kuta, the MQ Abela Stadium, AS Racine. Going to Korea United. Yeah, that should not be a surprise for us anymore. Yeah, no, but you know, Korea United are donating points. So yeah, they are donating. <laughs> but of recent, of recent, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they picked, games, they picked yeah. some, um, you know, some yeah. points. So I felt okay. there was that, a resurgence. Yeah, there was a resurgence. But I mean, yes, yeah, so I've seen defeated um, Heartland at uh, the Aga Stadium. So I mean, I mean, it shows that they, 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 they too are trying to improve on their game and possibly, you know, maintain their NNL status. All right. But I think the pick of the pack was uh, Heartland by SI United. I thought Star game. Yeah, that it was going to be very tough. Uh, two Premier League um, uh, former champions, mm -hmm. you know, and um, it, the, the story of Bayesa and Heartland is, um, you know, very, very intriguing. Uh, there was a time in the last, I think in 2014, the last year of the season, Bayesa came to where and got the victory that, you know, ensured their Premier League status. You know, so everybody thought that it was, it was going to be well contested. Uh, Bayesa went um, ahead. Um, Heartland, you know, came back and won the game convincingly, 3-1. You know, they, they have not stopped scoring after going to Omaha uh, to get that 3-1 victory against uh, Abia Comets. I think they are a high scoring side, right. but the problem they have had is they've been conceding too. You know, they are, they are scoring and they are conceding. All right, we're about to go. Uh, quick response. Top of the table in the standard conference. Yeah, um, Atlanta, um, Atlanta opened up three points, you okay. know, gap, 32 points. Uh, Kara FC second with 29 points, and in another conference is UB um, and then Cry United on, I think, on 17 points. Okay. All right. So um, that's been the show today. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for um, staying tuned to us. Uh, we'll do this again tomorrow. Don't forget uh, the channel's International Kiss Cup uh, is currently going on. It's going to be day two tomorrow. Eight matches to be played. Um, if you are in and around the venue, do avail yourself of the opportunity to see kids showing their talent and playing football. We'll do this again tomorrow. Bye-bye now.